sister starts. It's under the car. Bro, it's ah! And he's pushing it back deep. And I'm really sad. Disappeared, dude. Bite me. The Robo hamster. Look at my little hamster. I'm excited. He's so cute. He's on the run. He's like, not you taking me from my home. Oh no, he's on the run. He's a man on the run. <laughs> You can't tell him in the mask, but I'm smiling. You know, because she won't run into the box. It's like she's smart enough to know. I feel bad for taking her out of her life. I am so excited. I kind of lied earlier when I said that we were getting this to scare Saxon. I wanted one. <laughs> But, you know, of course, I'm gonna think Saxon with it. I have to be very careful, though, because the dwarf hamster's so small. You have to be super gentle, because it's very, very little. But I'm excited. Oh my goodness, this is the smallest. Ooh. Hi. I want to pick her up, but I don't want her to get loose in the car. But I don't want her to get loose in the car. The hamster's loose in the car now because I wanted to say hi and hold it. And now it's loose in the car and I might cry. She's just like in distress. She's so stressed out and like, I don't want to scare her, but I need to pick her back up. I'm just feeling a little sister stressed. Hamster does not like this. Stop it. No. No. Come here. Don't you be a little butt. You're being a butt. Come here. No. Fudge, bro. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's been under my seat now. It might get stuck. Where is it? Where the f is it? Is it in the back seat? Oh my f goodness. so deep into the car. Hamster, why? So I can scare it, so it'll go over the bodies. I need a phone for a flashlight. Do you want to give me your phone? It might be under the car. It is disappeared, dude. Where could it be? Is it under the, is it be over here, maybe? It's like under the car, Bobby. It's literally under the car. We need to put some food. We set it up to come out. <laughs> no, it's just... Oh my God. It's bad. We've lost a hamster in our f car. I feel sick to my stomach that the hamster has been immediately lost into the car. It's on the run. It really does not want to go home. I think it wants to go back into Petco. And I'm so sad. Like, I was so excited about this hamster. And you know what? It's just a hamster. You can't even be mad about it. You know, it's a hamster. It's going to do what a hamster would do. If I was a hamster, I would run too. But I just don't know how to find it. And I'm scared if I move the seats, I might crush it. So I just have to wait. The wait for this hamster to come out. I'm just feeling like hopeless. I feel like it won't come out. I'm scared to stick my hands back there because I feel like it's gonna bite me. I don't know what to do. Like, look, we torn apart the seats. It's not underneath the seat. I'm so sad. This is so sad. Like, I, what I, my, my fear is that we're not gonna find it and it's gonna die in here. And that's gonna break my heart if it dies in here. But we can't find it, like, I don't, I don't know what to do. It's like, do I just let it live in here? Do I just put food in here every day in the car? I just feed my car and hopefully the hamster that may or may not be alive will eat it. I'm disappointed that I didn't even get to take it home, but I'm more disappointed that this hamster could be, one, it could be stuck right now, two, it could die in here. I'm starting to tear up. <laughs> just so tragic. And I'm really sad. I don't want to like cry about a hamster, but I'm going to cry about a hamster because I'm tearing up. It's all my fault. I was so excited to have it that I took it out of its cage a little too soon. And now we don't know where it is. I just feel sick. I'm not going to give up yet. We still need to clear out the car and set up some food so that it'll be lured to the food. So apparently your brain was going to bring home a hamster to scare me and then she calls me about five minutes ago saying she's lost a hamster in the car. How do you feel? Not bad, I already cried about it. You cried? This is a great lesson. Don't try to scare your older sister. And don't you have to ask before you get no, animals? No, the, the actual lesson is not to open a hamster's cage in a car or any small 
I think maybe it's jumped out of the car because we took apart the back seat to try to find it and save it and it is not there. The doors have been open for a really long time and I'm just worried that it's jumped out. So we've unscrewed the back seat, you can see. And um, what I think happened, if you wanna ask me, I feel like since we've opened the door so many times, the chances that the hamster jumped out of the car probably like 80% because the door has been open and this hamster loves running and I think it jumped out of the car But Hadi, my friend, uh, he thinks that it went underneath the floorboard Like he's saying that he needs to remove the chairs and the carpet I don't know, um, but basically we have to ask my dad for approval first and he's gonna kill me Because my dad is gonna kill me, yeah Not actually, but he's gonna be pretty upset because he doesn't really like hamsters Anyway, he wouldn't even want a hamster in his house. And now if he thinks that I've lost a hamster immediately and there might be a dead hamster in his car, he's gonna be pretty mad. Wish me luck, guys. I'm taking this off, do you see it? <gasps> it's the hamster not being in here. For me, it's the way the hamster's not in here. I'm really sad because Saxon's only trying to make me feel worse and everybody's mad at me. This was never my intention. I just wanted to hold it because it was really cute. I didn't think it would jump out of my hand because no everyone's mad at me. No one's mad at you. No one was and mad I, at yes, Brighton. It's mad just at a bad situation because either the hamster is underneath the seats and we have to completely remove the seats <laughs> you or the one saying, Why would you it's already that? jumped Why? out. You up. Yes, you I did. never said you up. Yes, you, did. you just said that this is really bad. It is really bad, but no one's mad at you. <laughs> People can say it is very bad because <laughs> either the hamster's going no, to but... die in the car. The worst part is that it went up to the driver's seat while Adi was and he was pushing it back to me and I was ready to grab it and I was this close to grabbing it and it went right back and it might be dead now and it might be it. <laughs> it's just a bad situation because either it's going to die underneath the seats and we'll have to take the seats off now or we'll take the seats off for no reason and it's it. just lost. So guys, that's how everything turned out and... I'm really just sad because I really care about animals and I was really excited and just turned out really bad and it turned out like that and disappointed that I just couldn't wait and should have just left it in the cage but we did our best to look for it and I'm gonna try to look for it tomorrow. I genuinely think it jumped out of the car because we opened the doors at Petco to look for it and at my house so it had multiple chances to jump out and both times that we had opened the doors we had left the doors open for a really long time because we were searching for it just if you ever consider buying a hamster be very very careful about where you bring it maybe don't even bring it into the car at all unless you keep in the cage the whole time um but at the end of the day i'm gonna try to look for it again i love you guys so much make sure to like comment subscribe turn on your post notification and comment any of your stories with a pet like this so i can feel just comment any of your stories with a pet like this where something like you've made a mistake like this or there's been something funny or bad that happened and i'm gonna be there for you in the comments i love you all so much thank you for watching bye